ready to get in 110 days that God has allowed me to breathe and to wake up and to see the light of his word. Psalms 110, 110 days in the book of Psalms. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For you are the kingdom, you are the power, you are the glory, both now and forever. Amen. Consistently, God has been uh, giving me an opportunity to see exactly what he said. And I am so excited. I started reading the word one chapter a day, pretty much 2019. Every day I retired, I think, um, May 24th. And it would be three years in May that I have taken the time that God has allowed me to breathe, get up, just regular routine checkups at the doctor, no problems, and I'm just loving it. and I love the fact that my family is well. And I think that and I and I'm asking God to deliver us from evil and to lead us not into temptation every day. I'm excited. This word works. This word works. I haven't had God has blessed me so far to not to be distracted by anything that'll keep me from being able to be here live and to share what he has and I, I pray that he continues to but all I can say that's the way it has been and that's what I'm looking forward to God allow me to see I'm so excited I am getting ready to read 110 and explain what I have just a few verses and this is the prophecy that David prophesied about the coming of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ Oh, this book is so good. He said, verse 1, the Lord said, and this is David just writing down. He said, the Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou at my right hand, son, sit at my right hand, sit beside me, until I make your enemies your footstool, until I make your enemies get in the place they got to be in. A resting place. In other words, until I tell your enemies, you are subdued. And that means he says, sit here until indicating that one day he's going to get up. He's not going to sit there all the time. It's not going to, the world ain't going to stay like this. It's not going to stay like this. He said, I got to get up. He said, once my father said, I'm going to make your enemy your footstool. Let me tell you something. I'm thinking that God is saying, I'm going to do, I'm going to do the earth like I did Pharaoh. I'm going to squeeze everything out of him. And the only thing left for me to deal with him is you got to die. And you don't have to go through none of that. But I'm going to let you get all of your energy out of you. Your laws, your fighting, your killing, your, 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 your foolish thinking. And then when I'm going to say, you know, go on down there. Because they had their wits in. They had, there's nothing else they can do but look up to you. <laughs> he said, the Lord shall send the rod of your... He said, the Lord shall send the rod of your strength out of Zion. And he said, I'm going to send from me to you to go down to earth. Jesus, this is, this is going to happen. Just check it out. Because everything that the word said that has happened, what we would do in time like this, he said, as it was in the day of Noah, so we're doing everything. What, what have we not done? Everything under the sun that could be done is being done, at least right here in the United States. The Lord shall send the rod of your strength out of Zion. So it's going to come straight from me. And then he told him to rule. You rule in the midst. You will rule. Rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. When I send you to earth, take charge. He's not coming in a manger. The wise men won't be looking for him. He said, I'm telling you, step by step, he's coming. He's seated on my right side, at my right hand. When I send him, he's coming with order. 
The rod means I'm going to get the sheep back in line. you out of line. And I think that the biggest enemy of Jesus is the church. The religious people. Biggest enemy. Because we stop people and let them go as far as we want them to go and let them, instead of letting them see God exposed. Letting people get intimate with the word. We fight over, you know, this preacher preaching and my members leaving. It's God. It's like I'm, I'm telling y'all the worst thing that y'all can do is position yourself and say these are your members. I gave you to be leaders and that means teachers and you need to be making sure you know what you are talking about because... I'm coming down with a rod. And let's, let's keep going. And if you have not taught these people, you're going to hate that you ever call yourself a leader. He says, it's better that you just don't even touch my name than to use my name in vain. The Lord says, send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. He said, rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. Take over. And he will not be afraid. He don't care nothing about your credentials. He don't care if you're the pope. He don't care if you're the bishop. He don't care. All he said do was rule these people with my word because I am so good. There's no need not to know me. He said, your people shall be, he said, your people, he said, the people that know you shall be willingly in the day of your power. He said, when you come down there with that authority, people that know your word, that already know you, in the beauties, beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning. He said, early in the morning, people that know you, they're going to be up. They're going to be so excited. They, they went, oh, I went to sleep. Try to get up. It's going to like the words that I was glad when they said it. I'm so excited getting this word. I'm glad just to get what I'm getting right now. But when Jesus come here to rule this earth, those that know him is going to, it's almost like sleep. I know I got to have you, but I got to get up. He said from the womb of the morning. That means before anything else can see me. My thoughts are already, my eyes are already gazing on him and he's gazing back at me. Brenda, I need you to do this? Yes, Lord. Because it's the first time I'm going to be up under leadership that, that, go, that is going to treat people right. I'm going to have the best customer service. Am I God serving? He said, the people shall be willing in the day of your power when you get to, when you tell everybody to get back and don't line up with your word. In the beauties of holiness from the womb. He said, you're talking about organized? That's beautiful. To see human beings function right. I already know it's real because I'm reading it in the book. I saw how God did everything. So far. Everything that I saw about God is organized. He said, you're talking about beautiful. He said, from the womb of the morning, thou have you will have the do of your youth. And I started thinking, that's okay. You will have the do of your youth. I know what do is. And I wasn't sure when he said the do of your youth. Because I was like, if you have been from the beginning to the end, at what time were you necessarily at a youthful age? <laughs> I know that when he came to earth, that we don't know a whole lot about what he did when he was um, young, young. But we do know that once he got 30, he's still young. And um, so I checked as many Bibles and commentaries as I, as I possibly could. And so I changed, not to change the meaning, but the order of the word, you will have you will have the youth of do. In other words, you will have young people like do. You will have youthful energy, springing minds and willingness and want to get up and want to do and want to move. And they're going to spring up like do in the morning and we don't know where they're coming from. 
just like the dude is on the ground and it's not a, there's not an irrigation system on the dry ground, but the ground itself is dry, but the leaves or the grass that come from the ground is wet. And they said there's no condensation from the clouds to do it, and there's no irrigation from the ground to do it. So in some kind of way, God has it already ready. He said, Jesus, you see how that do is on the, on the ground? That's how many young people you're going to have to help you get this thing under control. And you know the first people I thought about? And then my thoughts. How many babies did it? And God said, I got need of you. I wonder sometimes when we counted them out, God said, I do. He said, you didn't name him, but I named babies. I named Moses. I think I named, who was the more name? I named John. When his mom and daddy got ready to give a name. I named uh, um, uh, Sam, uh, uh, Solomon. I call him Jedediah. Solomon had David's son named Solomon, but God called him Jedediah. God takes his time in those names. He said, I know how many hair on your head. I know the hour you were born. I know where you were born. I know why you were not born. He said, but when I sent that, put that baby inside that man, and he sent that baby to that woman, he said, I know what I was doing. I know what sperm was going to attack, fertilize that egg. He said, they still mine. I know where you were born. I know why you were not born. He said, but when I sent that, put that baby inside that man, and he sent that baby to that woman, he said, I knew what I was doing. I know what sperm was going to attack, fertilize that egg. He said, they still mine. I wonder will they be like the youth that is going to shame, going to shame us. The word says that there's going to be so much crying when Jesus comes. When they look at him, they're going to cry. And they're going to cry. And he said, they're going to be just crying. And he said, the boys and the boys and the old, he said, the, he said, the girls and the boys. Check it out. Look at the Google it. The girls and the boys and the, and the people on the cane going to play in the street. That's under his leadership. Even the streets going to be safe. Safe. And still, somebody going to still say, you are not the Christ. He said, okay, what you say? I am what I say I am and who I say I am. I know one thing. You ain't going to take that stuff back to Walmart, get no money, and you know that you bought it illegally or you stole it or however you got it. He's going to cut that mess out. I know that you're not going to be giving kids grades at school that didn't earn, that, earn them points they're supposed to get. I know that. I know you're not going to be putting hair product in expensive bottles knowing that you went to the dollar store to buy He said, I know that. He said, I know how to run the earth. You're going to see me as the person in charge. And I don't care who you are. Check out what I'm going to do. He said, the Lord has sworn and will not change his mind. He said, I will not repent. I'm giving you my word. I will not repent. You are a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. A man without a beginning and a man without an end. and came in quiet and did what he had to do. And that's it. The Tesedek didn't come in with no robe on and all this official stuff and people standing up and all of that. He said, ain't none of that. The man came to take care of whatever God sent him to do. When he met Abraham, after Abraham went to war, and he came and brought him bread and wine. And what did Jesus say? Eat my flesh, which is the bread, and drink my wine, which is my blood, and the life of the flesh the, uh, the life of the flesh is the blood. In other words, Leviticus 11 and 11 and in the 11 chapter of Leviticus. The life of the flesh is the blood. In other words, get the word. That's what I bring, just like Melchizedek. I brought you the bread. Then I gave Abraham some wine. And inside of what Abraham was all, was all of us that's in the body of Christ, feed these people. Inside of Abraham was everything that Adam had on the inside of him. He messed up. So God said, I'll take this boy right here to Abraham. And out of your seed, I'm going to have the seed. And that seed is going to do the same thing that Melchizedek, Chesedek, how is his name? Melchizedek did to Abraham. He said, you're going to do it to the seed of Abraham. And you're going to be the seed of Abraham. That bread and that wine, 
that Melchizedek gave Abraham, that's that bread and wine that Jesus said, I give unto you. Activate my word. My word is the flesh, the blood. And when you put it to the action, that's the blood running in the flesh and making it all one. Get the job done. He said, that's the order you're going to do it. I, everything about what has been done, Jesus said, I will bring it to life. Ha! <laughs> Lord of the word. Fifth verse. The Lord at your right hand shall, he said, me at your right hand, I'm the Lord at your right hand, Jesus, shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. He said, when you see somebody in the way and they won't change, I'm going to do it just like, who was that? When that Herod going to say the wrong thing, God, let the worms come up there and eat him up in the midst of his leadership. He said, I don't need permission to knock you off your throne. I'm telling you, do the people right. I'm telling you, let these people see the light. You name one pastor that's teaching the word of God, I suggest that you go there and, 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 and do what you've got to do to live. I ain't talking about getting no sermon to make you feel good. You don't, we don't need to feel good. We need a whooping. We need somebody to tell us the truth. We need somebody to tell us we're going to die and we're going to stop. Now we're going to honey and sugar and stuff. Jesus said, he said, that's not my word. We want a rose garden. That's what we say we want. But you know what a rose, a, a rose garden has on his thorns? Stick your hand. Tell you, you don't touch me like that. <laughs> That's where the word is. Touch me like that. Read my word and study it slowly and see don't not tell the truth. I say the same thing you say, but when I say it, I, I consistently tell you the truth. He said, um, he said, the Lord at your right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. He's I'm gonna knock them off the throne and they don't get these people right. If you're in the government and you're doing all this crazy stuff, Jesus said they're going to knock you off that throne. You're going to hate you ever said with both of me. Oh, let alone the people in the church that are doing all this crazy. We don't want this is really, really, really embarrassing to know that there's the word from God and we don't want people go to church. I just want to make the Lord and say to Jesus Christ, my Lord. And there's nobody to tell you how to take this book and say you need to be in this class for like three years and we're going to train you how to use this book skillfully. Instead, the pastor can say go here and go turn here and go. You don't know what you're doing. You're just driving all over the place. You're like a man said he went to the grocery store. He didn't know where to find nothing. And he said that's the way he feel when he go to church. The preacher be saying this and that. But that's not an excuse because I'll help you. I'll show you how to read it. The Lord, had, he said, I'm at your right hand. I'm going to strike them people down that have been treating people right. So I'm not playing. He said, I don't care who you are and how long you've been who you are. I am going to strike you off that throne. I'm so glad. Ooh, I'm just so happy. I'm so glad. I'm so glad to see good principles when Jesus comes and children go to school. They really got good. Jesus, I ain't studying this mess that's not like my father. Try me. He said, my problem is the leaders. Everybody that's in authority, that's got leadership over people, that you got a different agenda than my father, I am going to knock you off the throne. He said, I am, six verse, he shall judge among the heathen. And where is most heathens? At the church with a Bible in their hand and don't read it. You don't believe nothing. When somebody do try to tell you something, you say something wrong with them. <laughs> okay. He shall judge among the heathen. He said, I am going to get the you people that has got the Bibles and you don't read them. And telling people, picking and choose. Yay, the Lord is going to bless you. Yay, the Lord. Is. Yes, the, who was that did that? That guy that did that with uh, Michael, Mike, Micaiah, I have name. They slapped him in the mouth, slapped him on the face. Like, you talking to the king and you supposed to say what the king said. Uh, Ahab, old mean, low down Jezebel husband. And he said, I knew old Michael gonna say something he had no business saying. He don't never prophesy nothing good to me. <laughs> that was that, okay. Uh, in other words, 
You gonna get a gift today. He said, I told you about playing with me like that. He said, Well, I'm gonna tell you, man, if you if I, God has not spoken to me, then I'm a liar. But if you come back and be the king today, then I, I ain't tell the truth. But today you're gonna die. And so oh Ahab heard, he, he believed that boy too. But he thought he was gonna outwit God. So what he did was he changed outfits and said, I'm going to change, I'm going to get out of my outfit and change, put on me a football jersey, something in it, just another thing. He told Je Jehoshaphat, you keep your keys. Yeah, that man, oh, they have low down. He wanted them to shoot at, uh, Jehoshaphat. And um, so when they ran up on Jehoshaphat thinking they had me, Jehoshaphat, I'm not the man, I'm not the man. They said, no, said, that's not him. And they said, I know he out here somewhere. But Ahab thought he had got away. But the Lord spoke to the young man, and, and Ahab told him, put him in jail and give him, let his food be very limited. And so that boy said, you know, Michael wasn't no famous nobody. He told Ahab, you need to cut that mess out. And Ahab thought he was going to get away. And the word of God said, you are going to die today, Ahab. And so Ahab, after he changed his outfit, riding his chair and had a drive and all this stuff. And the Lord had somebody to be shooting just in midair, not necessarily shooting at anything. Guess who they shot? <laughs> Ahab. Guess who died that day? Ahab. Go back and check your history books. And even if you don't even believe the word of God, check, check out history. Go look at them kings, them real kings, like Nebuchadnezzar. Go to Rome and go to all, all of the recorded. God said, you're going to die today. He tried to give away. Ahab, he's looking at Ahab. Look, he's over there crying. He's, like, he's serious now. And Lord said, I ain't going to mess with him now. I ain't going to mess with him. Leave him alone. Then all Ahab started something again. God said, man, you got to go. That's why I said it is very important that we read the word because if you're going to lead people, you better lead people in the light. And it's going to take some serious reading. But it's good reading. He said, I'm going to judge them all. The heathen, I'm the church folk that go to church. I declare you going to church with your red bottom shoes and all your titles on your names. I'm going to rip that place up. You're going to hate that they ever made. You're going to hate that you ever did that in my house. He said, I give you my word. And what he said, and I repent not. I ain't changing my mind. I'm stopping this mess. Because that's what my heathen said. He said, judge among the heathen. He shall fill the places with the dead bodies. Psalm 110. I told you it's a love book. Because what does God say? You are not going to continue to make fools out of people in my name. And I know it's the leaders. I know it's in church folk. I ain't going to even go to the government. People that don't go to church. You, you, you. I can't even, he said, I would give you a Joseph in the government to try to straighten you out. I would give you a Daniel. But they so messed up until, I can't send nobody in the church messed up. I'm raising people though, don't get me wrong. There are some people in the world just like Micaiah, and I may not be saying his name right. People that, like a hold them way back off in the woods somewhere, in the college. That's what the word said. These kings that got sense, they're going to call on people that got sense because God's going to make the connection, going to bring them together. That's why I said, give them the word. He doing it. He said, he shall judge among the heathen, the church folk. He shall fill, because they don't believe nothing. He shall fill the places with their dead bodies. He said, he's going to be dying all over the place. I, I looked at Corona and I saw a lot of leaders dead. I knew he wasn't doing that. I knew he was playing these folk. I knew he was sleeping with these women. I knew you were taking money in your hand on this. He said, I'm going to get your children for uh, You left it down to your kids. I'm going to get your get that, get that money. He said, I'm going to get my money back. <laughs> you watch out. He said, he said I'm, getting my, I'm getting every dime. Because when um, Ezra and Nehemiah was building the temple back, Ezra was building the gates, Nehemiah did the temple. They collected some money. God said, get the money back to do. Give me every bit of it back. He said, I ain't playing. We, we got some low down. I ain't know the words here at all. Either. But I read it. I'm reading He shall judge them on the heathen. He shall fill the place with dead bodies. 
And I ain't talking about spiritually dead. I'm talking about a real no breathing corpse. He shall wound the heads of over many countries. And I'm just not, this is the word of God. This is 1, 10, 6. It is, I'm so sick of these leaders. I don't know what to do. I'm going to get the heathens in the church and I'm going to get the leaders in the countries of every. These are going to be dead bodies. Because I, I, I'm glad. I'm so glad you don't. But the good part about it is you don't have to be one of them. You can change. But this is prophecy. This is to come. God said, I ain't going to put up with the crazy stuff. All I got to do is get, get enough people in the word to read it so I can come on and make up my, do what I got to do. Read the word. See when God come and check this stuff out. Then he said, this is my word they going out after me, boy. Somebody got to read it. Somebody got to say it out loud and teach it. He said, until the gospel is preached, and the gospel is have, ain't had preaching none of these churches. And they talk about we going to the third world. You ain't even got it in, 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 in the own zip code. All these churches down the street ain't teaching us. People don't know nothing. You want to know whether a church is teaching, watch the members. See if they know how to talk. If they can't say nothing, then you ain't got no good leader. I ain't talking about no singing and jumping and shouting. You do that at the club. He said, I'm shall wound the heads of many countries. Regular words that we use, countries. And then he said, when, I'm, when I do what I do, I'm going to get me something to drink from the brook along the path that I'm assigned to. I have a particular brook I'm going to drink from, just like I met that woman in the well. I'm going to drink, he shall drink of the brook in the path that's where he's supposed to be. And when he get thirsty, after straightening all his foolishness out, I'm going to drink from the brook. And I saw different commentators say something else, but we'll leave it right there. I ain't heard nothing saying that because I know it's true. He got to have some drink. <laughs> he said, after I drink, therefore shall he lift up the Head. All these, all these people that's going to be down. They're going to finally look up. And they said, finally, justice is served. Finally, justice is served. Somebody is doing right by me. We got order. We got, we got the church in order. We got the government. It's all more He said, in heaven, see what the words are, our Father, which are in heaven. Holy will be your name. Your kingdom come well. Uh, our Father, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy will be done well. In earth, it ain't done in earth yet, but it will be. As it is in heaven. Jesus, I'm going to straight this out. He said, when I come this time, I ain't going to be coming. Y'all ain't going to be walking around on fruit trees and putting in a little wine to them. And it won't be no star in the sky. He's I'm coming with a robe on and a rod. And the robe is my vesture. My blood is going to be. That's the only blood I'm going to wear. So you'll know. I'm telling you what I'm going to have on now. And you're going to look at my thigh. My thigh going to have my name on it. And he said, I got a name that nobody know. He said, I ain't playing. I ain't scared of nobody. He said, watch these dead men die. Watch them die. He, and, and the father said, the Lord at your right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. I got to put you down because you won't get up and you won't, you won't submit to my word. I see, I see every law you play. I see every sperm that never gave birth to a baby because you didn't put it in the right place. He said, I said, stop. This is Psalms 110. Prophecy of everything that Jesus said in the book of Revelation. Right here in these seven verses. Father, we thank you for your word. I am so excited that justice will be served. You won't look at male, female, black, white, rich, poor, nothing. You said, I'm coming after these leaders. 
because you're the reason why this country looking like this. And Father, I thank you that the people will hear your word and change. The simple good word. All you want to see is justice. You want to be God. You want to see things done right. And I applaud you because it's already written a long time ago. And you didn't let me die. You didn't let me die and not see what you said. All the crazy stuff I heard. And I thank you that the ears of people that are hungry for your word, may they dismiss every null and void thing that don't bring nothing before your face saying, I did this when the Lord spoke to me. No! Get born again and let God say, let me speak again because what you heard was contamination. Can't do nothing with no man coming to me telling me what you did, right? Come to me when you know if it's any, any bit, if it's any, any, if it's a little bit of inch of anything wrong, he's a start over. Because you ain't going to bring no suitcase to me and tell me, look at what I did. He's ain't thinking about what you did. Come look at that one blood. Get on, get on with that blood. Lord, raise up people from YouTube. And Father, save Facebook. Sanctify Facebook. Follow the devil. Erroneous teaching and just flopping and hopping. And, and they just don't even fear you. But these hungry people on, on YouTube. They come out of your word, they seek, they say, what does Psalm 110 say? Sick of church folk. That's why I said to myself, when I came out of, when I came out of, I want to be born again. Like Nicodemus, Jesus said, boy, you don't care about you, a teacher of the law. Lord, that's what I read. Jesus told me, Nicodemus, all that stuff that you said, been teaching people, he said, you got to be born again. Thank you for your word, Lord, in Jesus' name.